Welcome back to the channel. I am doing a favor for my wife, making a quick video, post it up on YouTube as well, trying to get the wire size and conduit size for a specific piece of equipment that she is installing at one of her sites. And what we are needing to do, um, we're going to use the electrical black book, my preferred condensed version of electrical information. And we've got some information taken down here already of what we're looking at. We have a 480 volt system. So we're going to be running three um, current carrying conductors on a 60 hertz system. Not necessarily important, but just note this is in the U.S., so we're running a 60 hertz system. And we are running 650 amps at 100% duty cycle. So typically we would only need to really check for the 80% duty cycle, but we want to use 100% because knowing the site this is being installed for a welder, um, they could hit 100%. So we are looking for the wire size and the conduit size to put that wire in. Um, we also need to include our temperature rating. Because this is in Arizona in a hotter area, we're going to be looking for the 190 degree Fahrenheit rating area. Normally we could be okay in the residential commercial setting in more temperate climates with a uh, 100 to 140 rating, but we want to step up to that 190 rating. So coming back to our black book, you can get these on Amazon for about 30 bucks. Super handy. There's a bunch of instructions in here on how to use them. Um, uh, there's also just quick reference information. This is also a book you don't want to try and use if you don't know how to use it. So just kind of getting to the point. I've got some of these pages already marked out for me. So we're going to go to the conductor section, which in this book is going to start on page 75. So this is all about electrical conductors, aka wires. So we are going to flip to this first page, dimension of insulated conductors. So what we are going to be using is a THHW wire, that one right there. For reference on what those guys are, we flip to it's this one, maybe not that one. One second, there we go. On pages... 82 and 83, we can come look at what these trade names are and what their uh, trade letter abbreviation is. So we're looking at the THHW specifically because it's moisture and heat resistant. It is able to be installed in wet location and dry location and has a rating up to 194 degrees Fahrenheit. That gives it an insulation type that is flame retardant, moisture and heat resistant thermoplastic without any outer covering, which is fine because this is going to be running inside of a conduit. Because remember, we're also looking for the conduit size that we can use on this. So we come back to our <coughs> dimensions of insulated conductors. So, sorry, jumping around a little bit. So we are looking for our standard AWG size or our KC mill size. So these are all the types included. This clearly includes the THHW. So again, we are at 650 amps. So we need to find um, a wire that is capable of carrying 650 amps. So we will come to that one, not that one, but this one in the ampacity section, page 87. So this will give us our wire size by our type of wire and the amount of current. And we're going to be on three phase, 60 hertz, 60 cycle, lagging power factor. Um, we're going to be on the 100% duty cycle. So we would go to uh, our THHW. So let's find that one. Our THHW, that is our 167 degree rating. We want the 194 degree rating for THHW. So we're going to come down this list until we hit at least 650 amps. So we'll keep going down that list and we hit 650 amps right here. So we come over on this list and that is a 1250 KC mill, which is what changes from AWG to KC mill at this transition. 4 aught is the largest AWG and then you go to 250 KC mill. So we are at 1250 KC mill for the type of wire we're using. So we're going to mark that down. So wire size 12 50 KC mil. Now we need a conduit size. So, just quickly referencing back to this, uh, 
this section would allow us to see what size the wire is. If you need to know the actual physical dimensions, this will run you by the type of wire. It's AWG or it's KC mill and the physical cross-sectional area. So, but we already know we got a 1250 KC mill. So we are going to go to one of these tabs that's marked. Uh, da, 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 da. Right there, allowable ampacity of insulated conductors in raceway, cable, or earth. That's for direct burial. So we're going to be doing in raceway, which is conduit. So if we turn this guy sideways. We know we are looking at the 194 degree THHW. So that's going to be this column. We come over to our wire size. We go down the list. We find our 1250 KC mil um, 665, and that is perfectly acceptable. What you need to remember here is that I believe it, yeah, right there, not more than three current carrying conductors in raceway. So that is basically three phase. So now we need to know what size conduit we need. Another side step here, just for reference, there is a multiplicity, fac multiplicity factor for um, running in steel conduit. I believe this is going to be running in PVC, so we should be fine and not have to worry about that. Um, we would need to go to the conduit section now. So we will flip to conduit, 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 which starts on page 133. Let me run through this real quick. Well, we'll just wrap this up real quick. I seem to have made a little foo -pas of myself. Uh, you can't carry um, uh, conductors in conduit that are larger than 500 KC mil. If you look at all these charts, conduit, 500 KC mil, 500 KC mil, 500 KC mil. So at 1250 KC mil, that is something that we cannot uh, stick in a conduit. That's going to have to be um, probably an armored cable so we will need to probably change the wire type um, or we can just run with that standard sizing and tell our vendor that we need an armored cable because uh, this will either have to be direct berry or um, supported in open air so that is going to be what it is and i appreciate you guys tuning in if you did if you didn't um hit the dislike button if you didn't tune in <laughs> uh, have a good time and love life